The Rendezvous Grand Hotel, located at the Esplanade in Scarborough, is a four-star hotel, sitting right on the gorgeous beachfront and overlooking the Indian Ocean. My stay today is in one of their superior rooms priced at $159 a night. The room is very spacious with modern furnishings and equipment. We also had a balcony with a spectacular view of both the Scarborough area and the beachfront itself. Internet access is available and with most Australian hotels, it doesn't come cheap. Direct access is available but most people will go with the Wi-Fi option and this is priced at $25 for 24 hours per device. Speeds were slow though, not exactly value for money. In-house movies don't come cheap either. $35 for 24 hours of access. The minibar isn't very well stocked, but that's okay. Who wants to pay $5.50 for a small water? Not me. The room has temperature control, although the system is quite loud, even at low speeds. There's plenty of space in the cupboard and the bathroom is huge. The shower is just enormous, one of the biggest I've seen. The bathroom also comes with complimentary amenities and a handy international power socket for those who forget to pack theirs. My in-room dining tonight was presented in a food cart. It was not set up for us, as other hotels might do for you. For starters, I had the tempura and sesame battered soft shell crab. Great Asian inspired flavor with hot chili, soy sauce, and a wonderful new shoot salad to go with it. The tempura was crispy, crab cooked well, and was one of the best dishes that night. I highly recommend it. Next up, I tried the nazi goreng. Usually I love this dish, but this was a very poor version. It was just so bland and lacking in flavor. Nazi goreng should be real bang for your buck food, but this was just a disaster. Rice was way overcooked, and sadly, the only thing worth mentioning was the egg was cooked nicely. For my main meal, I had the honey braised duck shank. This was my second favorite of the night. The duck was cooked well and just fell off the bone. It came with sauteed kifla potatoes, a red wine jus, and a very thick piece of pork crackling. Next up, I tried the steak sandwich. I love my steak sammies, but this one was one of, if not the worst, I've ever had. The Yanga steak was so overcooked and so dry. The ciabatta bread was bordering on stale. The fries were okay and at least they were seasoned, unlike my Angus steak. Desserts were up next and we went for the double chocolate mud cake. It was okay. It was obviously made days and days before as it was really dry, but the flavor was great. Very rich and that Jaffa ganache was just fantastic. I also tried the cardamom creme brulee. This was just fantastic. It didn't have that epic crack that you broke through on normal brulees, but I didn't mind it. So creamy and the subtle cardamom flavor went down a treat. I highly recommend this dessert. So what's Nico's rating? Overall, I scored it six and a half out of 10. The room itself without the food was great value. It was a large room with a great view. Ordering the food and throwing in the high price room options that most people will go for brought this score down. Would I stay here again? Definitely. But only if the price was right or if they had a special on. Thanks for watching Room Service.